Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join Bailey and I today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful morning here in Pennsylvania Zone 6. It's middle of July and of course you get those hot, humid days. But anyhow, this morning I wanted to share with you a early summer update on our butternut squash. They're just flourishing out here in the garden. So thanks for joining me today. You know, having a garden in your backyard, you know, it's such a blessing because it almost costs virtually nothing to, to grow these plants by seed or direct sow them out in your garden. And, you know, these Waltham butternut squash, these are the seed pack I purchased here. And, uh, you know, for under $2, you can direct sow these out in your, your garden or you can even start them down in your basement like three weeks prior to your last frost date. And uh, you just get such a bang for your buck, you know, the joy of gardening, you know, it's a, you get to plant these out in your garden or direct sow them, you get to nurture them along, nurse them along as they, as they go from a baby to a teenager to maturity, you know, and, and then also you get the reward of your harvest. And so, and it's also being out in your garden, you know, it's very relaxing and peaceful. And as I always put it, very therapeutic and it's a great way to get away from those busy work schedules that we all have. So anyhow, follow me along and let's go take a look at some of these plants. And so I have my butternut squash planted here on my, or in my end raised planter bed. These beds here are four foot by 32 feet long and they're divided into eight foot sections. And so for instance, like here I have some sweet potato plants that I grew for the first time and they really seem to be doing very well. This is a, these are yams and then also I have a red jersey variety. And then right next to it is where I have these butternut squash plants and you can just see how they, they've really literally almost taken over the whole garden. But in between my, these rows I have eight feet. And the other beds behind me like this one right here, I have four feet in, in between. But this one in particular, I have eight feet on this side and then maybe another 10 feet on that side to give them room to spread. Anytime you grow watermelons or pumpkins, squash, any vining vegetable, you really want to make sure you give them plenty of room because they're going to just take over your garden. So let's take a closer look at some of these butternut squash. And so right now they're kind of shaded by the leaves, which really helps them grow throughout the summer. But, you know, they're just beautiful. They're tucked in here underneath the leaves as they're growing. And so I have these three planted here. There's another little one starting to grow right there. And there's another one back under these leaves here. I have a couple more back in here growing and so you really have to look and so one teeny tiny little seeds probably going to produce anywhere from seven to ten of these butternut squash again and so you can see by growing your food how inexpensive it can be and rewarding and plus you get a beautiful harvest You can see right now they're like a pale green color. They're going to be turning a nice tan as they mature. But they are a beautiful looking butternut squash. I'm now on the other side of the bed. I was just looking for some more. And you can see I just have them. They're just hanging down here. This is going to be a nice one right here. That's a beauty. 
And there's another one hanging right next to it. So all for under two dollars you can buy a pack of seeds and that pack of seeds will last you a couple years. So that gives you an idea how much food you can grow. And butternut squash is one of my favorite squashes for for winter storage. They store really nice like four to six months. You know I keep them out in my garage or you can keep them down your basement where it's nice and cool. And you know we make a delicious butternut squash soup out of that and and uh, a lot of different ways you can prepare it. And so let me encourage you to think about growing butternut squash in your vegetable garden. You just want to make sure again you have plenty of room for those vines to spread out. You know a good five to five feet or more on both sides of your plant. And uh, again there's something very easy to grow throughout your summer season. And they do like a, a full sun maybe six to eight hours of sun during the day and of course you need to keep them watered a couple times during the during the week and uh, I also grow these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil plus I also add my alfalfa pellets throughout the summer it's a nice slow release organic fertilizer so anyhow I just want to thank you for joining Bailey and I out here in the garden today and if you have any questions or comments about this video feel free to leave them in the section below and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so so you could receive future videos. And you can also visit us on our website at plantsmartliving.com. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.